I was talking to some casual Halo players who didn't quite understand why it was such a big deal to have D-Scope in a Halo game. So I thought I'd just make a quick video to point out how important it is. I used a few clips from both Halo 5 and Halo 3 to help showcase this. The concept of D-Scope is actually quite simple. If you take damage, you are taken out of scope. The reason D-Scope is so important is because rescoping back in on a player that just popped you out of scope is much more difficult than hitting normal shots. If you are up against a player that is less skilled, you can continue to hit him even if you're lower in shields while he misses because he will not stay scoped in after each bullet that does connect. This allows for more skilled players to thrive and allows for more reversal kills than most games in the FPS genre. So this first clip shows D-scope in action. You can see that each bullet that hits me takes me out of scope. I then have to re-scope back in on the opposing player and take him out of scope in return. Here's another clip that is showing more of some of the same gunplay. See that he's using a light rifle, so three shots should kill me. But this third shot, boom, right there misses. Because I take him out of scope when I hit him, which causes him to miss that third and final shot. So I also talked about how D-scope allows true skill to dominate over those that just can't quite hit shots whenever they get D-scope. Here I have two clips that kind of show how D-scope can allow you to challenge players with less skill even when you might not have as much health as they do. Notice how each shot this player takes misses after I knock him out of scope. Players that cannot shoot without scope are punished with the D-scope mechanic, and it allows the higher skilled player to make plays and stay alive. Next, I have a few clips from Halo 3 to show how D-scope affects sniper play. Here we have Elamite getting hit by a BR. You can see how hard it is to aim with a sniper after being D-scoped. Being the pro player that Elamite is, he recognizes the need to reposition to cut off that player's line of sight so that he can stay scoped in on his enemies without being de-scoped. Positioning with Sniper is a valuable skill that allows you to hit shots unaffected by other players that are shooting at you. This next clip shows again how de-scope can put the Sniper in his place and force him to reposition or go for a no-scope or maybe a quick scope. You can see how Asteria recognizes he won't get off a good shot so he repositions. Putting yourself into a location that limits how many players on the other team can see you allows you to get off a better shot like the one that we just saw. And then of course next is the infamous quick scope by Goofy. This quick scope is a great example of how skilled shots can still be pulled off by skilled players after being de-scoped. D-scope is a great balance of sniper and long range gunplay in general. It allows for more interesting gunplay for the viewer and more skill-based gameplay for the player. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy your day.